a few weeks ago I actually had uh, to order a few more PCBs from GLCPCB but before I ordered I, I had a quick look at what 40% Club had available and I saw that they had the uh, the semaphore out there which was like a 5x6 split board but the way he actually designed it he, he actually split the board into two jaggered halves so that each jaggered half could be meshed together to actually have a 6x5 like half keyboard and for a full keyboard it would be uh, something like this which would be like quite interesting so I thought hey like for like with GLCPCB for prototypes or for boards like under 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter it's actually pretty darn cheap so I thought like let's let's give it a try and and if you kind of look into the details here it's kind of say okay well he's got uh, for pro micros but even for like the wider ones or all those like odd Chinese clones that have been completely redesigned that they haven't used the uh, the original Pro Micro footprint. So he's actually like made some uh, interesting changes uh, in how actually how he does it. Uh, and you can see like he actually stitches both a bottom plate, the PCB, and a top plate together to actually make that full uh, six by five matrix. Uh, so as I kind of scroll down here, like he's got a couple of examples of his uh, first few prototypes. But if I kind of look at the details here, uh, it's actually quite interesting. So we'll have to go into figuring out uh, what rows and columns he actually used for which pin and which side is uh, uh, the raw pin and so on so that we can power things up. Uh, but uh, it'll be it'll be interesting. Uh, so. Uh, how do you order the board like this? So essentially you go on, on his GitHub and uh, I've just got that onto the other board, onto the other side here. Uh, and he's got essentially like everything here available to, to, to order. And so essentially here's an example of the uh, of what the board looks like. Even instructions uh, or a link to instructions on how to actually go and, and order a PCB on, on um, on there but on GLCPCB but um, if I go down the details then say okay well the, the, the board is like 95 by 95 two layer, layers just a regular 1.6 millimeter well 10 I, I've ordered five because it was just cheaper and I've actually chosen white uh, and uh, here's the the top plate and here's what the uh, the bottom plate looks like but also Ultimately, in this GitHub, how do you actually order this? There's like three zip files, and it's it's very simple. Um, and, and let me just kind of oops go back to the uh, the stuff here, and it's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is uh, either download or download the whole zip here, and uh, I've got uh, this coming up. I'll go and. Well, how, big, how big is this? Let's just wait on that. Okay, it's there. I'm gonna show in folder, grab that. And just gonna dump it on the uh, D drive here, which is an external drive. Just open it up. It's unzipping. And there's a file. So if I, he's got like, quite a lot of different boards that he's uh, worked on over the years but the one we're looking at is the semaphore so we've got the uh, three zip files here so let's go to glcpcb and see how ordering is done uh, essentially grabbing the gerber file and let me just go back to my d uh, where's miss master semaphore and I just open the first one. It uploads. Then it's a two layer board. It automatically will pick up which dimensions. And if I want one keyboard, I need four boards. Uh, so each half takes two. So I need four for two halves. 
So by order rank five um, at 1.6, and I can choose like any color. It's just like, the only difference. Uh, it's the shipping time. So if I go like and say red or like go all the way to white, it's still two dollars. Now it's just the build time takes a little bit longer, which is for two dollars it's fine. So I'm going to go white on this one. I'm going to go uh, save to cart. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of log in here. Okay, so, so I'm going to save to cart and I'm going to grab the top and bottom plate. So I'll go back to calculate, add the gerber, gerber, bottom plate, open. And I had white, so let's just select white again and five boards. Now this one, like the second board is $4. Uh, they had a special a few days ago where they had $2 for each set of five boards under 100 by 100. Uh, well, $4 is still quite reasonable. So we're gonna go save that to cart. So I've got one, two, now I just need to go and grab the top plates. So the plate open. I go in white again. So um now if I, if I want to go and change, like for example, if I want to go to lead free, uh, they charge a little bit more for the surface. If I go with, uh, with gold finish, uh, it's even more. But if it just go regular hassle, uh, it's just a regular $4. Um, now if I, is there any other options? I don't need to panel. I don't need different designs or order number or anything. So it's actually pretty simple. So five boards at 1.6, white, and then everything else is default. So I'm gonna save this one again. So if I go to my cart, I can see that for $10, I can actually get uh, top and bottom plate for a split keyboard. Now, if I just go and, uh, and check out and I'm gonna, But if I continue on here, um, the shipping is actually the one piece that's going to be. Um, now this is probably where registered to is probably going to be least expensive. What I had done last time was simply uh, I had a bigger order. So it was just like a, a little bit more uh, for this one. So UPS, uh, DHL and a registered mail. So I won't be doing the order itself. Uh, but this kind of gives an idea of how much would it be to just order one board from GLCPCB in China. Now, obviously, if we go into more larger orders uh, for like more, for example, two boards, you go like order 10, then obviously it'll go up a bit, uh, but not by a tremendous amount. Yeah, so so this is essentially how um, like the, I order the boards. Uh, and then in the next video, uh, we're going to have a look at what I've received.